morning and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. On the short term time frame here, there's not really that much going on. It's kind of just plateaued out somewhat. It's taking a breath of fresh air. We're still on a, a gentle uh, incline upward, ascending upwards. Uh, on a longer term time frame, we're obviously looking pretty, pretty bullish. We're at $8,020. We've had a high of $8,352 and a low of $7,800, so quite a range there, um, and we're down 1.4%. Let's have a little look at the news feed. Bitcoin BTC price correcting gains, key supports nearby, so that's true, we've got some nice key supports to bounce off. Um, we're still above the 200-day moving average, which is which is the most important indicator there. Is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency being driven by China, Japan and the Korean markets? Um, so obviously there's there's a hell of a lot of interest in the Korean markets and the Asian markets and uh, they're also in the same boat as the uh, traditional investors in the US and, and European markets in that they want somewhere safe to put their money while their um, while the the stock market has a little bit of a a, a downward downward trend. A little look at Litecoin. Litecoin's plateauing too. It's a hundred dollars. It's down one percent. It's at a high of uh, 106, uh, one, almost $107 and a low of $97. Um, if we zoom in here, you know, on a, a short, short term, it's, 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 it's just pretty choppy. Um, if we zoom out, we're still, we're still, I mean, Litecoin in particular has built this, this quite nice, if we ignore this, this spike here, we've, we've got quite a nice channel for it to, to bounce up and down in. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's been building that pretty much, pretty much all year. Um, so Ethereum, how's Ethereum doing? Ethereum's at two hundred and sixty-four dollars. It's, it's uh, up seven percent. It's at a high of two hundred and seventy-two dollars and a low of two hundred and forty-five dollars. So Ethereum's still pumping, uh, as I actually thought, and I, I, I did get down in a, in a video that it has had so many bullish indicators going on. Then how could it not jump up? Um, and it's, I think, it's pretty much hit. So the, the the ascending triangle, the momentum built by this this huge ascending triangle has been building all year. Um, I think that the, the top of that has more or less been hit at two hundred and sixty four, two hundred and seventy dollars. Um, I think it's probably bounced off at about two hundred and seventy dollars. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's the Ethereum um, plateaued a little bit, dropped a little bit, and then maybe steadied out around two twenty dollars. We'll see how that goes. Monero, how's Monero? Monero is also down one percent. Um, it's at $92, it's at a high of $97 and a low of $89.50. Uh, on the longer term time frame, it's still looking pretty bullish, hasn't tried, quite managed to, to, to get out of this, this gully here, but um, uh, we'll see if it does over the next few days. Uh, gold. Gold's, gold's had a little um, uh, pop upwards um, and it's looking, it's looking like it's managed to break this um, descending uh, peak pattern which we had going on here and it's kind of looking like it's, it's just about managed to break out of it and it's hovering above the the the, 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 the descending peak so I think maybe it's, it's discarded that pattern uh, it's very interesting that Bitcoin's gone down and gold's gone up um, it really is uh, let's have a look at the S&P 500 S&P 500 is sort of steady um, it's got something I think there's actually quite a, a neutral triangle there on the on the short term uh, on the um, uh, slightly longer term here for the month. Uh, it has been working on this, this, this sort of negative um, channel, which it's working its way down. So we'll see if it stays in that channel. If it manages to break out of that channel, then and then stop, stop going up again. I imagine it will. I imagine that they'll, you know, the, the trade talks will um, uh, eventually calm, and then the the the, 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 the markets will, will steady themselves. Let's have a look in the news feature. We. Asia shares slip as U.S. sanctions on Hawaii threaten fresh tensions with China. Oh no, it's still escalating. It seems uh, global markets Asia shares slip. Oh, that's the same same uh, same new story there. Asia markets mixed as Trump moves to ban Hawaii. Uh, U.S. stock rally on reports may soften tone on auto tariffs. Um, uh, yeah, so it's uh, clearly the, the 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 sanctions on Hawaii seem to be the the, the new big bit of news which all the the traders are looking at so we'll see how that works out for them so we'll look up at the bitcoin reddit and see how uh bitcoin land's doing yep still pinned to the top don't invest recklessly um and then there's not really much there to be honest it's, it's, it's just a lot of sort of bullish sentimentality not not too many interesting stories um once satoshi is now worth one iranian rail 
and one Vietnamese do dong. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, where are we now? Big correction everyone is waiting for may not come right now. Long time holders are not selling at these measly prices. Yeah, so the long term holders they're not going to sell for, for for much. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna wait till it hits pretty high prices, I imagine. Yeah, so not much there really on the Bitcoin Reddit. Let's have a look at a couple of articles. Um, Bitcoin bulls unleashed as crypto begins trading on good news. So uh, um, even though we've kind of steadied and, um, um, and we've had a sort of a little slip in, in, in some, some, some of the cryptocurrencies, um, the news is we're still very much in a, in a bullish trend, which I agree with. Um, and uh, this article here just goes on to say that, you know, throughout 2018, there was such huge growth and such good things coming out of the Bitcoin market um, and development in the technology. But the, the price just didn't seem to reflect the, 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 the technological advancement. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that means that, you know, the, the people who understand the technology are the ones with the huge sums of money who are investing in, in Bitcoin. But now it seems that the good news is seem, does seem to be having somewhat of an effect on the price. Um, so we'll, we'll see, hopefully that will continue and the, 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 the level of, of trader and investor who start putting money into Bitcoin are going to pay more attention to the technology because obviously the technology is the important bit. Um, why the next Bitcoin bull run could eclipse the last Bitcoin bubble. This article just talks about how, you know, the general public knows that 20K is plausible. Um, and they, they're, they're, they, they're more than aware of the amount of fuddy articles they've had on Bitcoin dying. Uh, so even the general public is much more educated onto what Bitcoin price can do. So they're more likely, the new money is then more likely to pour into Bitcoin. Uh, but I can't imagine that we're going to, you know, break 20k and beyond uh, off the back of just regularly normal people buying Bitcoin. Um, they will, and that's a good thing, but I, I imagine it'll mostly come from sort of institutional investment, from big investment funds on ramping through Wall Street, um, looking for somewhere else to, to, to put their money and, and keep it safe or, or make gains. So last article here, let's have a look. Bitcoin's recent price surge due to its maturation as an asset. So yeah, pretty much what I just said then. You know, I think Bitcoin's very much being viewed as a, as a, as a gold or somewhere safe to put your money um, for better or for worse. Uh, and that's obviously going to have a, a bearing on the price. So, I mean, that's pretty much Thursday. Um, not really much else going on in Bitcoin land there unless I hopefully I haven't missed anything too important. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow and have a good day.